Um, I'm currently studying a certificate in digital photography at Ariki Polytech in Dunedin. Uh, so far it's really awesome, the year's almost over. Um, next year I'm planning to study the diploma of photography here in Araki still. And then after that, um, if I can stay in Dunedin, I'll probably team up with some of my friends from course and start a business. Otherwise I'll do further study, either at the uni or so in the North So we're going to smash the tomatoes with Sam's fist, but we're just setting it up so we can get focused and stuff. Uh, my so favourite type of photography yeah. is Definitely studio photography. Um, I really like studio photography because you can just have full control of the light, subject, poses. Um, it means you can use flashes and explore different types of things. Just recently I did a studio shot um, for a photo of the Fortnite contest that we have every two weeks. Um, the theme was unedited and I decided to take some still life photos of vegetables in the studio and they turned out pretty boring. There's just some turnips and tomatoes just sitting there. It looks really, really average. But um, we decided to spice it up a bit, so we got Sam to um, crush some tomatoes and I'd get some high-speed shots of them exploding on impact. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and the photos turned out pretty well. Um, I suppose the worst bit was having to clean up all the tomato pips everywhere afterwards. occasionally go out and about taking photos. Uh, I generally do more studio stuff and collaborations with friends, but um, just recently I went down to Tyree Mouth to take some photos. That wasn't a very productive day, but just before that um, I went down to Brighton Beach and got some pretty cool landscape and nature shots there. Um, I suppose my favourite photos that I've taken so far are um, my 12 personal directed project photos. Um, I suppose the best photo would be a photo that I took of uh, one of my classmates in full Elizabethan dress and makeup. Um, it turned out really well, had kind of perfect lighting and edited it for a couple of hours and it turned out really well. Put it up on 1x.com and it got accepted, so it's pretty cool. It's met like in class. Yeah. Um, very, very naughty. He's just butting all the time. He's always picking his nose. I've got to sort of put him to the front of the class because he's just very fidgety. He, um, he's uh, just a pest, you know, I just, uh, I just hate it. But on the other hand, he's one of the better students. I think he's, um, uh, he's the class rep. He's well liked. He uh, fits in extremely well. Um, he's also a bit of a mentor to, uh, to, the, to the other students. Um, because he he uh, he has many um, traits, very very skillful traits too. He's he's a, he's um, he's good in fronting up. He can present exceptionally well, and his images are, and I said second to none. So, yeah, no, he's he's an integral part. He's brilliant. I, I, we all love Matt. Except he does smell of fish, every once in a while. And the majority of our uh, students generally over the eleven years I've been with Ayaraki. Um, our, student, uh, our graduate profile for students is, is, um, is uh, very much accept, accepted by the industry, not only in New Zealand but around the world. So many of our students are um, um, with their, they've gained diverse talents, but uh, many of our students have, um, have uh, work within the ph photography industry.
of the camera really has nothing to do with how successful a photographer is. It's always nice having decent equipment because it can just make images that much better, but really it's the, the vision and creative style of the photographer, what they can do with lighting and editing that makes the photo. Oh, the camera's definitely just the tool. It's like the, uh, the paints and the paintbrush of a, a painter, uh, an artist. No, no, the camera, you know, we've obviously got to be up with the Joneses as, and, and technology. Uh, Photoshop is brilliant, absolutely amazing, out of this world. But sometimes uh, we, we just need to just stop short of just overdoing the images. The trick is to finish them and, um, and produce them maybe how we did with film. Um, I, try and, I try and push that. So the less manipulation, in a sense, the better. So less is better. I mean, there are a lot of naysayers that say it's just cheating and um, takes you know, the creative style out of photography, but I think it's there and it's just a tool that really lets you fine-tune what you're doing with your photos and get the most out of every shot. Um, I personally use it a lot because it's just something I enjoy. I like the artistic side of photography. Um, it lets me have a lot more control, let, lets me fix mistakes. I usually fix them in camera where possible, but it's not always possible. Um, and so, yeah, I suppose the people that don't use it, you know, it's up to them, but I think they're missing out. I've, I've learned quite a few things this year um, as far as becoming a photographer goes. And I suppose the big thing and something that I didn't really think about before doing the course was studio lighting. I was quite familiar with my camera and exposing correctly and taking photos outdoors, but I really had no idea how to set up a studio or control lighting or flashes, and so it's been a really good opportunity to be able to tackle all of that. Um, so we have our exhibition coming up very soon, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, as far as my images go, I pick, I've decided to pick three of my favorite photos from my um, personal project, which I'm gonna hang up. This exhibition for the students is, um, you know, their swan song for the year, basically. They're, they're, they're showing off their best work. Um, I, seeing the students work myself, I think that's a very high calibre. Um, we, put, we, we put the students in a bit of a spot. They have to decide for themselves what they, they put up, as I said, uh, um, and hopefully it's their best work. The fact is that now they're showing it off to the public. Um, I think it's uh, quite nerve-wracking for, for some of the students. But on the other hand, what an experience, especially we've got uh, an open gallery, an open gallery to the public. And um, this gallery, is, the exhibition is going to go on for a, for a week, and uh, it's right in the heart of Dunedin. their different interests come through and what they've exhibited tonight and um, yeah I've been really impressed actually. I'm really proud of what Matt's achieved this year. I can see that he's come such a long way from the beginning of the year um, and he seems to have really developed and knows what it is that he wants to do so yeah I'm really proud of him. Quality work. I'm quite impressed with some of the photos that are coming out of, especially this is a pure class. Quite impressive. Oh, I think that tonight went exceptionally well. We had a, a feast of people coming in. The best bit is family and friends 
um, associate to the, the students. You know, the images are lovely. They do speak for themselves. They really, really look good. And um, I'm actually very impressed myself.